Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Awesome Cook. On this week's episode, I am going to make something, a dessert, for a co-worker who just came back from maternity leave. She has a kind of a sweet tooth, so I'm going to make something special that's quick, easy, and also healthy. For my Weight Watchers friends out there, it's going to be five smart points per serving. It's going to make 12 servings. And this is going to be called a Cookies and Cream Cups. So let's get started and make these. So here are the ingredients in the items that you'll need for this recipe. Like I said, this is going to be a super easy recipe. Of course, if we're dealing with cookies and cream, so you're going to want Oreos or some kind of cookies and cream cookies. And for my Weight Watchers friends, we want to keep the points low and I'm using the reduced fat Oreos. But again, you can use any kind or any brand you like. You're also going to need, um, and I'm going to use 18 cookies for this recipe. I'm going to use a um, some of this light whipped topping. You can get any brand. If you want to do the fat-free one, that's absolutely fine. <clears throat> uh, you're also going to need some kind of butter or light butter, margarine. Um, in my past videos, I've used this. This is the Earth Balance Vegan Buttery Sticks. They're great for baking, so if you're vegan out there, you can use it. I am not vegan. I just like how it tastes and... Um, it's just, it's not that bad in points. The other thing I'm going to use is, um, I'm going to take the easy way route and take using um, two packages of this, the snack pack from the snack pack, um, sugar-free uh, vanilla pudding. You can make the sugar-free vanilla pudding that you want. Each one of these are three and a quarter ounces. So you're going to need two of these. So that's going to be What's that? Six and a half ounces of sugar-free vanilla pudding. And then you'll need some vanilla extract. And then you're going to need um, cupcake uh, tins or paper tins or paper, <laughs> paper ones or the tin ones. So, okay, let's get started and start assembling these. Okay, so I have eight Oreos on this napkin. You can use a Ziploc bag, you can wrap it up with um, uh, saran wrap, but I'm going to just crush them like this. You can do it however you want to do it. This is how I'm doing it. I should do it in here. Makes it easier, right? not touching it. <laughs> I have my paper towel in here. I do not have a rolling pin. I don't bake pies. I don't you uh, have that. So if you have an easier way, do that. Sometimes when you're cooking or baking, you have to do with what you have. And you want to crush these up pretty well because this is what I'm making right now. This is going to be your crust for each one of these cups.
And if you wanted to make it easier, you probably could use a food processor too and chop this up finer if you wish. But I think it adds some texture by leaving it like that. This is about a tablespoon of, I use the vegan buttery sticks. You can use butter or light butter, margarine. You're gonna add this on here, in here with the cookie crumbs and mix that together well. Sure that they're well coated. And then you want to put it on each one of these. And when you put these down, you want to make sure that they're down firmly, intact firmly at the bottom. I'm going to bring this out so you guys can see. So I'm filling these up, just co covering that bottom layer, do not you don't have to fill it halfway up because you're gonna to have to put the filling on top. And then lightly pressing down on it to create that bottom crust for each one of these. And you're gonna do it for all 12 of these and I'm gonna go continue on and do this and come back for the next step. All right, <clears throat> so we're gonna assemble the filling. Um, First, we're using a cup of the light whipped topping. Again, you could substitute for uh, fat-free. You can use re the real thing if you like. I'm doing a half cup of the crushed o Oreos. The, I used 10 Oreos and I crushed it. Um, I'm just using half a cup of it because the rest we're going to use to uh, decorate the top of it and then we're going to use a teaspoon of vanilla extract okay and then I'm going to use two of the real or excuse me two of the uh, sugar-free vanilla pudding Packs. Now again, you can use, you can make your own sugar-free vanilla pudding. I'm just taking the easy way out and using the pre-packaged because sometimes when you don't have much time, you try to make, go the easy route, but easy doesn't necessarily have to mean unhealthy either. We can still have our cake and eat it too. And we're just going to fold this all together. I mean, this looks <laughs> so good already. I'm not a big fan of store-bought cookies. I'm a big person about homemade pastries myself. If I'm going to eat um, sweets, I'm not a big sweet eater. I'm more of a I like to eat my meals <laughs> kind of person, but um, if I am going to go with the sweets, i rather bake them myself. Um, to me, it's worth the effort, and they taste 10 times better than the store-bought. However, that being said, <clears throat> I always enjoyed Oreos. <laughs> They've always been one of my favorite store-bought cookies, so that's why I'm doing this recipe. And... Oreos, it's, it's usually can't go wrong with Oreos. Most people like that. So we're going to fill these up, each one of these cups up with the filling. And each one of these 12. I would leave uh, maybe about a quarter 
of it. Um, so I fill it up the rest of the way and leave like a quarter or like an eighth of a gap because you want to have room for it to, um, for the Orioles to be on top. So I'm going to continue filling these up and show you the next step. Okay, so we have the cookies and cream cups. This is what the finished product will look like. Well, almost the finished product. What you're gonna do next is take a piece of foil and wrap this up. And we're gonna put this in the freezer to become firm because you don't want these to be loose. These are gonna be actually um, firm when we're done. So you can leave it for a couple hours or you can even leave it overnight as long as you uh, let it sit out for um, about five or ten minutes before serving. But I'm going to put these in for a couple hours and come back and then we can take a look at them, okay? Okay, so I let these sit in the freezer wrapped up with the foil for a couple hours. So I already took one of them apart and you can see what they look like. You can see the crust on the bottom. Now take out another one. So you want to have these unwrapped. You can see. <clears throat> and then you can put them in Ziplocs and um, store them that way. You can put them in the air tight um, plastic container, Tupperware container, and store them that way in the freezer. But you're going to want these to set out for about 5 or 10 minutes before you serve them. So these are great, easy to make, and I guarantee you that they'll be a favorite. And again, there are only five, five Weight Watcher smart, smart Points, these cookies and cream cups. I hope you... <clears throat> And leave comments. You've subscribed to my page. Um, and until next time, uh, this is Jake Sakura. Stay awesome. And if you can find me on uh, Weight Watchers Connect at JA Sakura 1981. See you next Monday.